will, our city will be safe from any sort of possible tsunamis from, uh, I guess this is technically the south, but, um, yeah, I just don't want to move down that way. I don't, I don't want to buy any tiles in this direction. Um, oh crap, is that a tsunami? Uh, there's a tsunami that hit us already. No way. As I've said before, I have found a way to maximize the amount of disasters we see within each series of City Skylines. This should be an interesting scenario because I do kind of want to work on the appearance of my of my town. I want to make sure it looks good, even though <laughs> I think a lot of things are going to be destroyed. Oh, well, would you look at that? We actually already have our first disaster. So I've skipped a little bit of time here in this uh, kind of tornado county scenario, and uh, we are going to be experiencing a 5.0 tornado in our little city. Now, I've done a little bit of renovations. I didn't want to go with, like, what they were giving us, so I, I've done some some things here, uh, mess with the infrastructure, and I feel like this is this is going to be good. Although, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, obviously keep rebuilding because we'll be re rebuilding quite a bit, actually. So, uh, this tornado, I believe its path is going to come straight through here. So, as I said, I'm not so, you know, I kind of know what the scenario is going to throw at us. The key here, though, are the random disasters. I have no idea what random disasters will be hitting us. And, uh, I mean, they could throw more tornadoes at us. I think they'll throw a lot of earthquakes at us, um, which is kind of just as bad. I mean, the tornadoes just kind of kill a bunch of people. And by the way, I do not have a, uh, a shelter up. I probably should have done that, but I figured, hey, you know, people are gonna die. There's nothing we can, <laughs> there's nothing we can really do about it. And this, this really big house. Look at this massive house right here. It's, it's going down. It, it, it's going, it's going down right now. Yep, there, there it goes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The real estate was great, but now it's not, it's not great anymore. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna go straight through our, uh, our little town right now. And we're going to have to rebuild quite a bit. I, I think that we're going to have our, our city be destroyed here, at least initially in this series, um, a lot. A lot. And uh, like, I've, like I've said in the past, I'm more worried about the random disasters because they will be messing with terrain. Uh, I can try to fix the terrain with the terrain modifier. I might do a little bit of that if, if you know, a sinkhole occurs or, you know, who knows. Uh, yeah, one disaster that I'm not talking about as much is just like the collapsing of buildings that could that could happen Wow all the car all the cars just falling down so sad. Hey look at this house the the park residents you've done you've done good Is that really the park residence is your last name park? That's an interesting last name anyways So this isn't too bad. Uh, well besides all of this uh, now. I do not have the automatic bulldoze uh, on which is uh, Probably for the best. I've got a bunch of money here and let's keep in mind that this is a scenario so I can't have less than $30,000. In order to win, I've got to have population over 260,000. I've got to have 20,000 full lifespan uh, people that live in our city at one point and then have more than a than, than million money. So we should be able to do these, I think. I don't know about that middle one. I think the middle one will be doable uh, pretty early on. But getting that high up is going to be tough. Oh, oh, okay. So we still have to unlock this. Interesting. No disaster response unit for us at the moment. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Either I think I think I'm gonna have to manually destroy these buildings. Let's fix the roads first, though, because there's there's no point in uh, doing anything else. But yeah, let's let's do that. And we should also be seeing our first uh, random disaster here soon enough too. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'll talk about kind of the the idea of what I was trying to go with here uh, in terms of like, cause I did want to try something new. Uh, I kept I stayed with the roundabout. Wait, what? You're not gonna let me fix this? No, you can let me fix it. Is it is it gone? No, oh no, I thought you were gone. Dude, come on, man. I Just leave us alone. Please, a leave. Tornado has touched down in the area. Is that a new one? Seek Don't, shelter immediately no. If oh, okay, it's available. gone, it's gone. Okay, wow, wow, lady, you are super late, man. You are very late. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's, let's go back to this, and uh, let's demolish some buildings. I think we finished, we, we did most of the roads. Okay, so demolish all this. Thank you, thank you for your service, but, you know, you're gone now. All right, let's go up to speed three, and now we need to focus on, uh, again, I, I do want to work, I, you know, in, in the last few series, I was able to kind of just do whatever, uh, not, I wasn't really as concerned about the visuals of our city, I'm trying to, trying to do that a little bit here, I mean, the tornadoes don't really ruin all that much, again, I can fix it all pretty quickly, but, um, yeah, I did want to stay with this roundabout, nice roundabout, you know, no intersection, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's an intersection, but no, uh, no s intersection with lights and stuff like that, so these people should be able to move pretty quickly in and out. Uh, this is the only highway on this map, and another thing I want to keep in mind is I don't want to move down south. I really, really do not want to move down south because, as we've seen in the previous, uh, scenario inside of, like, uh, City Skylines when I have 
both the random disasters on and the scenario disasters, tsunamis are absolutely devastating. Uh, tsunamis just destroy everything. And uh, we are, this is a lot of flat land, not entirely, but a little bit. 36 buildings were destroyed and it killed 200 population. That's not too bad. We only had like a thousand. It killed like a quarter. <laughs> killed like a little bit less than a quarter of our population, but it's fine. It's it's fine. Anyways, so I want to be very, very careful about uh, about getting too close to the shore. Uh, there There is a little bit of what is going on here. Okay, I'm going to destroy you and then we'll just do it like that. There we go. Yeah, so there is a little bit of concern with, with that, um, and I think, do we have access to the uh, elevation map mode? I don't know if we do just yet. Okay, so we're all good. We'll stay up to speed 3 and kind of watch over our uh, our demands. Where is the elevation map mode? Is it here? Yeah, terrain heights. Okay, so there is kind of a mountain guarding us here. Well, I don't know if it's a mountain, but a little, uh, there's, this is more of a mountain right here. But there is a small path that this kind of worries me. So I, I think we'll, our city will be safe from any sort of possible tsunamis. From, uh, I guess this is technically the south, but um, yeah, I just don't want to move down that way. I don't, I don't want to buy any tiles in this direction. Um, oh crap, is that a tsunami? Uh, there's a tsunami that hit us already. No way. I think we just dodged a bullet unless, yeah, I think the river will keep us safe, right? I am pretty sure, I'm fairly confident that was a tsunami because... Uh, Wow, speak of the devil. That's crazy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, there's there's a tsunami right there. We are so, so lucky. Video one, and the game is already trying to screw me here. What is up with that? What is up with that? Okay, so that actually, that's, that's a problem. Because I do need to kind of move down south because of this road. Is that a highway? I believe that's a highway. Oh, you can already see the river is doing some funky things. Some real, real funky things. Oh, that's so scary. That is so scary. I kind of do need access to that. We wouldn't get access to that the first time we buy a tile here. And again, yeah, so I wasn't even expecting a tsunami to hit from the we from the east coast. I was more concerned about the southern coast. We could see a little bit of that water get over here. Oh, man, that is crazy. What a way. What a way just to show, like, it's kind of the game just showing, like, hey, buddy, just so you know, I'm going to ruin everything. Right, it's kind of like a warning shot, video one, what the series could be, could be like. Oh, clearly the tsunami is having impacts on the, the just the, the the water overall on this map, which is terrifying, actually. Uh, okay, okay, I think we're okay, though. We, can, we, we dodged a pretty big bullet. Let's improve residential. Uh, let's continue to throw in, I think I'm going to continue like this. I'd like to keep most of this in the middle commercial. Oh, wow, they did end up blowing up my, my fire department, I believe. Yeah, they did. So uh, I need to be concerned about that into the future. Watching my service buildings, making sure that they don't get completely and utter utterly destroyed at least. Uh, we should probably extend out our blocks too because I don't think that's going to be enough. So yeah, we can do, we can go about there. Yeah, let's go about there and then kind of come back this way. Yeah, so there we go. We've got, we've got another block that I can use. Um, again, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do high density residential. Or too much of it. My concern is this is the tornado, like scenario. So, you know, doing a bunch of high density in one area could be a bad thing. And we have a ton of ton of land to build on in this map. So maybe staying away from high density buildings is the best way to go. That's kind of the way I'm leaning. But you know, I don't I don't know yet. We'll see. We will definitely see. Uh, let me kind of include you right there. Thank you. So this is going to be our uh, kind of our our working area for now. I'm not I'm not gonna focus too heavily on on educating people just yet again we have a lot of land so you know we can kind of do a lot with this situation in terms of natural resources we don't have a lot but uh you know there's there's a little bit of uh, fertile land up here we could do some farms obviously there's forest everywhere uh, a little bit of ore over this way but that's about it I don't see any oil yeah I don't see there's there's yeah, natural resources there's not there's not a lot. Okay, so good. We did avoid the uh, the tsunami. There is kind of a little lake that formed over here, which is which is nice. Oh, that's crazy. I wonder how often that's going to happen. There's going to be a few times where I'm going to be like, where are the random disasters? And it's going to happen. It's going to be because of a, maybe a tsunami that formed or something like that that uh, maybe I didn't notice initially. So whenever I say that, please remind me in like on video six or whatever of this series, please remind me that, hey, Drew, you, you, you knew you were going to do this. You knew you were going to be asking questions where the random disasters are and you probably missed a few of them okay so uh, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more commercial 
here and then I'd like to uh, I'd like to extend out this area a bit more maybe figuring out something that's going to work I think we're gonna need to already purchase another tile and yeah I think the the easiest thing to do is to move up north here and you know what? maybe that's what I'll do entirely okay hold on how much is this okay that's that's very affordable what I would like to do is just keep everything up here uh, industry keep everything up here industry and uh, maybe buy a tile out this way ah, I do I feel like I need that road man I really feel like I might need it hmm possibly now do we uh, when do we get our next milestone do I want to wait to the next milestone I'm pretty sure the scenario will throw at us another disaster just before we hit the next milestone yep and there it is 9.0 tornado tornado, tornado. okay great 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 um, you guys aren't gonna give me access to the uh, to these oh gosh this one's gonna be bad I can already tell okay so this is 9.0 Seek shelter That's great. If any is available. Let's get a zoom in. So this, the, again, they're designed to go straight through the city every single time. So uh, so I'm not even going to increase the residential demand because most of you guys are going to die anyways. So we're going to leave it alone for now. Jesus, this, this does seem like a much bigger one. And there it goes. So I would not advise walking in the middle of the street. Again, okay, well, they're flying. They're flying. <laughs> they're definitely flying now. Anyways, okay, so there's going to be a lot more a lot more roads for us to uh, to improve on. Let me just do that right now, too. I mean, oh, I hate when I do that. Can there just be a, 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 a mode for me to just, boom, just scatter and kind of, I, I wish I didn't have to do a single click right here. Okay, well, all of these houses are going to be destroyed. Looks like I'm going to have to delete these roads again every single time. Holy crap. Okay, well, luckily I... Yeah, luckily, as long as you continue that way, don't change directions. Please don't change directions. Whoops. Well, I guess that's not terrible either. Uh, yeah, keep going that way. There we go. And if I, you know, if I built everything in the same, like, small road, this would be a little bit easier, but it's fine. It's okay. Okay, so is that all the roads? Yeah, I think that's all the roads that need to be uh, fixed. Let me just upgrade this. It's going the right direction, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, again, it, it was going to hit right, so our milestone is still a ways away. Wait a second, do you mess with our pipes too? Oh, well, yeah, because you just blew up. Oh my gosh, now we have no energy. Okay, so that did kind of alter direction a little bit. Um, this is our water. We're dumping water here? Yeah, we're... Yeah, no, no, yeah, you, you destroyed my intake. Okay, so can I just... I can't replace you. Okay, that's fine. You know, I should wait before the tornado. I don't know if the, the, the tornado could definitely double back around. We do need to be careful of that. A tornado has touched down in the area. Yeah, that that Seek you're late. You're late, lady. Pretty sure you're a little late. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let me fix the energy now before I even press play. Now, do we care about... I feel like in this situation where we're going to have a lot of service buildings and special buildings like this destroyed... I actually feel like we should spread out coal power plants instead of wind. I think that would be better. Okay, hold on. We need this to go away, first of all. Well, I don't want to keep going because we're going to lose population, like, really quick. Um, I'm going to put you out over here. We need to give you access to water, too. Can't forget that. Oh, that would suck so bad if it started coming back over here. I didn't, I didn't want to wait because I knew the longer we waited, uh, the more people were going to leave the city. Because they're like, hey, where are all the things that I need to survive? And uh, and I'd be like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. It's not it's not my problem. Okay, so that that's good for now. That will work. There's a fire. Okay, that's great. That's great. Oh, did we? Yep, I think. Uh, oh, no, my firehouse. My firehouse is good. Okay, so good. All the service buildings are still fine because I think they're somewhere out in here. So, uh, again, I don't have my disaster response team ready to go yet. So I'm going to have to just destroy these buildings myself. Luckily, not too hard to do. A couple, of com uh, a couple of businesses were impacted. Oh, you know what? We can get rid of that, too. That's nice. There we go. Yes, thank you for reminding me. We can get rid of this, too. There we go. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let me destroy you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a, that's a 3.0, which means that this is a scenario. This is part of the scenario. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's horrible. 
That is so horrible. Has occurred somewhere in the city. Yeah, that's a that's Stay a scenario of disaster, I believe. Contact authorities with any information. Uh, pretty crazy sinkhole, if I do say so. These sinkholes are like massive. I didn't think that these were that big of an issue, but apparently they they totally are. They totally are. Okay, okay. So I think I the, all the roads are good. Let me go back to focus. And of course, it's nighttime now too, so I can't see anything. Um, okay, wait. I gotta fix this. Bam, bam. Okay, so now what are we gonna do about this? stupid sinkhole that formed how bad is it okay it's a 3.0 so it's not it's not horrible it's not a 10.0 or something like that could have been that could have been worse uh do i want to smooth let me let me see if i just kind of try to build over it oh it's fine yeah it's 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 fine we'll we'll, we'll, we'll leave it we'll leave it it's okay it's okay oh that's that's bad um okay then that will be the plan see this is what i like uh, these sinkholes, I mean, I think I could, I could probably smoothen it out a little bit, right? Slope terrain, soften terrain. Let me see. Don't exactly know if this is going to work all that well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's working. Okay, yeah, maybe I should do more of this. I think, I think that, I mean, there's still kind of a bridge there. It's probably still going to be a little wonky. Yeah, it's still going to be wonky. Okay, that's fine. So then we're going to go with the uh, we're going to go with that. We're going to stay with that. I mean, maybe that's overall a good thing. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing that I don't have to add another intersection. Um, I feel like it could be. It could be uh, something that I'm not planning. Okay, well, anyways, let's go up to C3 and get some people back up inside of here. Move back in. Bam, bam. Let me fix some of this. Thank you. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of things like that throughout this uh, throughout this campaign, which I think is going to be pretty fun. Uh, I definitely think it's going to be fun. If I miss a few houses, it's not that big of a deal because I can always fix it a little bit later. Oh, let me destroy you. I do see that you need electricity, but I kind of don't want to put you down. Fine. Fine, I will. What, what was this building? Drugstore. Why did you pop up right there, drugstore? Oh, gosh. Is this fire spreading? Yeah, what's going on with my fire department? There's there's several fires over here. There's no traffic. There's only like 1,700 people in this city. Everyone keeps dying, so uh, there shouldn't be any traffic issues, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, I believe those are all the all the big ones that have impacted us are uh, exclusively. This is nice that I get a little bit more of a zoomed out camera now that we've purchased a few more tiles. Uh, yeah, they all, the only ones that have impacted us so far are scenario disasters. The random disasters are the ones that are going to be. We're either going to get lucky on, which I thought, and I said several times I'd gotten really lucky with uh, with my previous uh, scenario, or my previous series with the random disasters, until, well, until the very end, no spoilers, but until that very end, I had been pretty lucky, and I don't know if I'm going to be that lucky this time around. Okay, let me just fill in these last few spots, and I think we'll be uh, good to go. So there we go. Okay, so I kind of have an idea here. Again, I wanted to do a little bit more with this. I wanted to keep kind of a, a big... I wanted these to be medium-sized roads. Have them go one direction to hopefully save us some space. And I actually do want to purchase... Oh, I can't. I want to purchase this tile next here. And uh, hopefully move the residential... I'm sorry, the industry just north of the highway. That way we don't have them, you know... I, I, again, if we stay with a, with a lot of these big industry you know, buildings and trucks on the road, then I, I don't want them to be on the residential side of things. So that way we can avoid, you know, heavy traffic situations and things like that. So we are destined for a lot more disasters in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, uh, we, we avoided a tsunami, which is good. And I'm actually wondering why the, the river is doing that. It makes me think maybe there was a another tsunami that we possibly missed. I don't know, but we'll find out uh, in the next one. The beginning part of the series is going to be pretty tough because the scenario itself is going to throw at us a lot of disasters that I can't really avoid. And depending on what the random disasters do, um, this could be really bad or really good. Again, I do want to focus on design of my city at one point, making sure everything looks pretty and nice, even though I'm not going to worry too much about placing down trees and things like that. Uh, not that part of design because obviously those are going to be destroyed pretty fast. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.